Fair warning, there will be some flashing lights ahead. And this... We just laser engraved in color. But first, I gotta get all this stuff unboxed. So the last couple times that Xtool has contacted me and said, we wanna send you out a laser, I've said, I don't really need another laser. When I got contacted this time and they said, we wanna send you another laser, I was like, yes! This is the F1 Ultra. This is a conveyor belt. When's the last time you saw a laser with a conveyor belt? This is a three-part filter. Very excited about that. All right, let me get these parts all assembled. And then we can play with it. Oh. And the material pack, we'll need that. Comes with a little touch screen, which is amazing. The amount of technical upgrades from the D1 that I got to this is astounding. All of it's in such a short period of time. Here is the F1 Ultra. It is all connected. I've got it also connected to the air purifier down here. I've gone through the initial setup, connected it to my laptop, did the calibration of the machine, and connected it to my wireless network. On the side, connection to a computer, accessories, flash drive, which allows you to put files directly here. This is the panic off button, which we don't need to have activated right now. I originally put the conveyor belt on and I was like, well, we should probably start without that. Move to the other side of the shop for now. I was probably just a little excited. X-Tool recommends starting with metal business cards. Right here on the controller are the focus buttons. Just like on the F1, use the up and down arrows to get those two lights to converge into one pinpoint. This is the framing. You can see it draws a square around it and all we have to do is line up the object. And then over here, the green button. That's amazing. That looks, that's kind of cool with the green from the machine kind of reflecting onto that. Oh my gosh. If this is our first project of the day, I think we're in for a pretty good day. Black metal business cards. F1 Ultra, check. Similar to the F1, the F1 Ultra is a dual laser machine. So it has the diode laser, but the really exciting part of this machine is that it's got a 20 watt fiber laser. Just like the F1. This comes with a safety cover. It should be used at all times, but at the end of the day, we're making video, and if anyone wants to actually see what's happening on camera here, I'm gonna have to lift this up. It's not a recommendation. I recommend running it with the cover down. This is just because I'm making video. All right, make sure it's placed in the center here. Holy crud. Oh, oh are you okay? It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to we need to be aware of that for the future. Definitely give it a second. <laughs> okay. Now it's just warm. Okay. Well that gets really hot. <laughs> it's a freaking dragon. Look at that. So that's the diode laser, and that's the fiber laser. Look at the difference. It almost looks 3D. It cuts into the metal. Oh, okay. But I just mean his little body looks like it's actually coming up off the metal. Yeah, I mean, if we kept going, we would be removing and removing and removing this relief. Oh, wow. And so it would. Really, wow. I'm really impressed with that. One of the processes that got me very excited about getting to use a fiber laser was this idea of coloring stainless steel. The idea is that the heat from the laser produces different colors on the surface of the stainless steel. So this is a stainless steel pie server that I have in the shop. I'm guessing this is going to take a while. Turn on the air purifier.
That's color. We just laser engraved in color. So you can see all of those corresponding colors over here. You've got pinks and oranges and blacks and browns. This is unique to fiber lasers. You're looking for something the fiber laser can do that nothing else can. This is it. Just one pass with the fiber laser. Total engrave time was 3 minutes 31 seconds. I really like the way laser engraved slate looks. Big fan of that. Next thing we're going to do is engrave a brass coin. I'm going to use the same dragon image that I used in the rose gold tag. I used this shape here to make a mask so that we weren't engraving in areas that there wasn't a tag. I'm going to use the whole image for the coin. The X2 Ultra has a camera. I'm going to hit refresh. I can then line up this image to get really close to it. I'll hit the framing button and that'll allow me to dial it in. I was playing with the settings a little bit. Ultimately, I ended up going with the default settings for the brass coin. The only change I made is that I decided to do two passes to see if we could get a little more depth out of it. Using my temperature gun here to see 184 degrees, so we're going to let that sit for a couple minutes and cool down. <laughs> and you can feel the depth. And so I picked this image because it is just loaded with detail, and I wasn't sure that the machine would be able to capture it all. There's intricate scrolling all around the perimeter. There's just so much in here, and it, it's all there. It's just all there, and it's got an absolute depth to it. Wow. I know you like the fiber laser, Peter, but are you ever going to show us the diode laser? And hey, how about that conveyor belt you hinted to earlier? You're right. Let's get that set up. So that one's in that position. Now it's supposed to be able to recognize it in different positions. So without messing with it too much, we're going to try a couple positions here just to see. Oh, they go on the other side. I'm going to start this again. Okay, let's see. I also put this down since that light is really flashy. Got it, there it goes. This is wild, it's doing it. I wasn't sure it was gonna do it at all. Here's the last one. There, go there it goes. And it's getting it in the right location regardless of how this is oriented. It looks really good. I'm really, really surprised by this. I guess I should remove that. I guess I could put it, you know what? I can just have it do the other side. Let's just have it do the other side. And put it like this just to keep going here. No jigs, no holders, nothing. I just put it on a conveyor belt, it places it, 
and cuts it out. This is amazing. There it is. I can go back to the computer and hit the cancel button, but I'm just curious to see if it times out. All right, so that's four times. If it goes four times without seeing material, it just is done, which is perfect. That was all real time. There's not sped up. And then I flipped them over and sent them back through. And it didn't seem to matter which way they were facing or what orientation they were in. I was expecting a couple of them to be skewed or something, but I'm a freaking factory. So what do you think? X-Tool F1 Ultra? I'm pretty excited to have this in the shop. I did reach out to my boss, Joel, since he helped me review the last X-Tool, I wanted to see if he would help me review this one. Uh, quick update, he's no longer my boss because he actually retired. As of July, he went ahead and moved out of state. Go ahead and say hi Joel in the comments. I'm sure he's gonna check out the video at some point. In a way, this is totally a review video. I only say yes to lasers that I plan on using in the shop. So this will now become part of my shop, which means you will see it in videos, you will see it being used in projects. If you have an F1 Ultra, does that replace the F1? For me, it doesn't, because the F1 I can easily take from place to place. While they do very similar things, I think the mobility of the F1 means that all three of these lasers have a place in my shop. I was blown away by all the projects, but there's something about laser engraving in color that just, it blew my mind to see that. I didn't have any of these tags in stainless steel, uh, so those are on order. I'm gonna be getting five of those. I'm gonna make five of the cat color stainless steel tags and I'm gonna give them away. Do anything crazy. This isn't a huge competition. This is just casual. If you're interested in one of those, I'll pay for shipping. You don't have to buy or do anything. Uh, two requirements. One, be subscribed. Two, reply to the pinned comment below and say, can I has cats? Can I has cats? I'll pick five random people, I'll message them. That's it, no big deal, super easy if you're interested. If anyone out there watching is like, I need to get my hands on an X-Tool F1 Ultra. I totally get it, it's an amazing machine. I will put a link in the description as well as a code for $80 off for your purchase. And that codes for the purchase of any laser, the D1, the P2, the F1, or the F1 Ultra, or any of the other range of lasers that x -Tool has. Thank you guys very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Super psyched to use this in a project. And yes, if you have ideas, throw them out my way. I'd love to hear them. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.